Today, I'm sharing all new home hacks to make your life a little bit easier. I hate cleaning my microwave, and this is a hack to clean your microwave so much easier. So you're gonna need a microwave steam cleaner, and to use it, it's really easy. You're gonna remove her hair, and you're going to fill up the first line with just regular household vinegar at the vinegar line. Then you're gonna fill it up the rest of the way with water. Next, you're going to put her hair back on, and her hair has this little opening in it that lets out steam. So put it in your microwave for seven minutes. When it's in your microwave, it's going to loosen any food that that's trapped in your microwave on the edges, and then you can come in simply and clean it down with a microfiber cloth. This makes cleaning your microwave so easy. All of the products that I'm using in today's video are from a company called Timu, and I wanna thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Timu, it's an online marketplace that offers competitive prices in multiple categories of products, like fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies, and more. Like when I'm talking affordable, I mean affordable, and you guys know we love a deal here on my channel. Now, if you wanna learn more about Timu, you can go to timu.com or you can download their app. For spring, Timu is running a massive site-wide sale with discounts up to 90% off. And again, all the items I'm featuring in today's video will be linked below in the description box. You can also use my code to get an additional 30% off these already great deals. Make sure you use my code at checkout, which is JOY5235. They offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. They accept all major credit and debit cards, electronic payments, Klarna, and Afterpay. Throughout the video, I'll pop up the prices for the Timu products on the screen so you can see some of these awesome deals. Getting pet hair on your couch and upholstery is never fun. I have found the best solution is this pet hair remover. It doesn't require any batteries or anything. All you have to do is simply run it along your upholstery, your rugs, and then whenever you wanna empty it, you just hit this little button right here and all of the hair is gonna collect in here. You can easily dispose of it in your trash can. If you buy your laundry soap in big containers, you know how frustrating it is because the liquid gets everywhere, it's all over the cups, and it can be super messy. So I have found that the best thing you can do is actually keep your cup separate from the spout. You may wanna consider getting these laundry soap shelves that you can clip onto your laundry soap. Then you can just set your cup underneath. Whenever you need to use the product, just put a little bit in your cup. Then you can take the soap, put it in your washing machine, and then return the cup back. So if anything falls out, it's gonna go directly into the cup. I always get frustrated when I buy cereal or snacks in bags like these because I feel like my kids will open them and then they just close them like this. They end up going bad before they're able to eat what's ever inside. So I found this really cool storage clip. It has a kind of like chip clip on the side and then it's got this lid. So let me show you how you put this on. It's gonna help keep your product inside nice and fresh. So when your bags open, you're gonna open up the chip clip area, put the clear circle inside of your bag, then take the outside clamp and just wrap it around and clamp it in place. You can easily open it up and pour in your snacks. I love that I can use this over and over again on different snacks. Make sure you paint that subscribe button. If you're watching me on your phone, the subscribe button is right next to my channel name. Click the red subscribe button so it goes from red to gray. You can also click the notification bell so you can see more videos like my Dollar Tree DIYs, home hacks, and room makeovers. I used to have a paper shredder, but I never used it. So a hack I like to use is just getting one of these privacy stamps. They are so tiny, but they're really effective to cover up any confidential information that you want to cover up before you throw away your letters. So it's really easy to use. You just open it up and roll it across your documents, and then you can easily throw away anything you don't want people to read. At my house, we love hard boiled eggs, but it's so hard to peel them. I have two hacks that really help me out. So whenever I'm boiling the water for my eggs, I like to put in a half teaspoon of baking soda. It helps to break down those shells so they're easier to peel. The other thing I like to do after I get my eggs out and they're ready to peel, I put them in a cup and I shake them around. That just cracks the outside shell. Then I can easily peel it off, rinse it under the water. So those are my best hacks for peeling your eggs. If you wanna take your hard boiled eggs to the next level, you definitely need an egg slicer. I find these are really great for salads or just cutting up your eggs to eat. This one's really cool because you can slice it in two different ways. Mm. 
whenever I travel, I'm so nervous about my toothbrush getting on the counter or maybe sitting out on the counter. So a hack you can do is pack a clothespin with you. Then you're simply going to take that clothespin, put your toothbrush in it, and you create kind of this like tripod situation so it never touches the counter. If you don't want to break a nail, putting keys on and off of your keychain, I have a simple hack for you using a staple remover. So take your staple remover, you're going to place it between those two metal pieces that are stuck together, then you can easily pull your keys on and off. Here's a hack if you don't want to spend a lot of money on ice packs. You're going to need sponges and some food storage bags. These sponges actually have 10 in here, so I'm going to get one of these wet. I'll place it in the Ziploc bag, then put it in your freezer. You have ready to go ice packs. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is home hacks. I love taco night and I need a hack to make it really family friendly. If you have never seen these taco holders before, they are a game changer for taco night. So you can put them on your plate and they're great to hold your tacos up in place. You can easily fill all of your ingredients in your tacos and they're really easy to pick up and eat. You guys know I love a good organization hack and this is something I've never seen before. This is a shoe organizer and when I saw it, I was so excited because I don't have a lot of room in my closet, especially for shoes. You can actually store double the amount of shoes in the same amount of space. I just got word that Timu is offering a special flash sale for my viewers on the three-piece shoe storage set. It's gonna take this shoe storage set from $8.98 down to $4.49. That's a 50% off savings. I'll put the link to it down in the description box so you can grab this great deal. With it being spring and summer, this strawberry holer is a must in my house. If you've never tried one of these, they're really easy to use. It's a great way to remove the green tops off of your strawberries. And bonus, I have my kids do it because it's not sharp at all and they can get all the strawberries ready for me. So what you do is you press this green button to open up this area here, press it down onto your green leaves, twist and pull up, and it's going to take the leaf right off and then you have this nice clean strawberry. It's a really great way to preserve the majority of your strawberry. This next hack is a hack that I use with my kids because I find that they lose markers all the time. So what you're gonna need is a set of markers. You're also going to need some duct tape. And then all I'm going to do is add duct tape around the lids of my markers. That way I can easily pull out whichever marker I want to use, but I'm not gonna lose the lid because they're all connected together. If you have cords that are all over the place and you want them to be a little bit more streamlined but not spend a lot of money, I really like these little cord organizers. They have sticky on the back so you can put them on your dresser or in a cabinet and then you can place all the cords in here so you can easily charge the different things you have. They're also great for an office. You guys, my viewers, are always looking out for me, and every time I'm struggling to take labels off of containers, you always say, Liz, use a blow dryer. It will loosen up the glue, and it will take off whatever label you're trying to get off. So that's the hack we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna use a blow dryer to remove labels. I love how lightweight and compact this hair dryer is. It's gonna be perfect for traveling. If you don't like using a blow dryer, another thing you can always use is paint scrapers. I find these work really well to remove labels. I really don't like having things sitting out on my countertops, especially electronics. So a hack I found is you can actually buy one of these outlet shelves and they work great. You can put them on your outlet. You just pull out the wall outlet, stick it on there and then screw it back in place. And then any electronics you wanna sit on the shelf, you can just put on there, plug them in, that completely frees up your countertop space. Now, if you're watching my channel, you probably like to go shopping for home decor. And one of my best home decor hacks is I always carry a tape measure in my purse. Well, I used to carry these really big bulky ones, but lately I've been carrying these really tiny little belt bags. So I needed something a lot smaller. So I found this tape measure. It's so cute and compact. You just press this button, pull it out, and you can easily measure anything you see in the stores. And of course it fits great in your purse. I love a car organization hack, and I actually have not seen this before. It's this little organizer that you can put in between your seat and your center console, and it's really cool. You can put a drink in there. You can also store maybe your wallet or your phone. 
When I'm over here cooking, it's really hard to see my phone if it's sitting on the countertop because I wanna look at my recipes or whatever show I'm watching. So my solution was to pick up a phone holder. It's been a game changer. This one's really great because I can put my phone either vertically or horizontally and I can see everything I need to see while I'm cooking. This next hack is perfect for me because I really tr do my best to get out of cutting vegetables whenever I can. This is a garlic and shallot chopper. I had to jump in real quick and let you guys know that Timu is offering a special flash sale offer on this garlic chopper. Regularly, it's priced at $23.99. Today, the flash sale price for you is $5.42. So I'll have the link down in the description box. It's a battery operated. So you charge this piece up before you use it. Then you just put your shallot or whatever you're chopping inside, press the power button and it's gonna chop it up and you don't have to do any work. If you feel like your drawers are really disorganized, consider getting one of these dividers. These are great for small items like tanks or socks. You can put them in here, it's gonna divide them up and then you just set them in your drawer. If you have a small kitchen with not a lot of counter space, you may want to consider getting this retractable sink shelf. This is perfect if you don't want to leave your dishes sitting out. You can actually adjust this and have it sitting in your sink. And then after you wash your dishes, you can set them in here to dry and then put them away when you're done. You don't have any dishes sitting on the countertop. Let me know down in the comments which of these hacks was your favorite. I love knowing your guys' opinion and all the products I showed you in today's video are gonna be listed for you down in the description box so you can click on them and it'll take you directly to the products. Make sure you subscribe because I wanna see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.